Okay, let's take a look at how to do a clean install of Windows 7. I've got a computer here that needs a, a new install and I thought I'd show you how to go about doing that. So, before you do this, make sure any data that you've got on your PC that you may need is backed up and I'll leave that to, to you to figure out what you do and what you don't need. Uh, I'm just going to concentrate this time on the actual install of Windows 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and restart this machine. I've got the Windows 7 disk in and this machine is now set to boot from the DVD. Okay, so as this machine restarts, it's going to ask me to press any key to boot from DVD, which I do. And now it's going to actually um, hand over to the to the disk and it's going to install the Windows files. Okay, it's now going to start Windows and it's going to actually um, boot from the disk and give us the options to install. Um, I'm going to cut this video due to the fact that I don't want to you know, produce a one and a half hour video. Um, so I'll show you the important parts and edit the rest out. Okay, here we go. It's going to ask us for our uh, language, and I'm in the UK, so we'll just switch that to UK, and then hit next. Okay, this is where we get the option to install um, or repair, and we've covered repair before in the advanced system restore video. So this time, I want to install, so we're going to click install, and that's going to start the setup process. Okay. I've now got to accept the license terms and then have a read through these. Uh, I've installed Windows enough times to know what it says. <laughs> we'll click on next. So we're going to do a custom, the advanced one. This is due to the fact that I do want to make, I want to wipe this drive, I want to do a format of it. Um, and you'll see here that we've got a 10 gig drive here. This is a virtual machine. It's it's um, it's not a, it's not a full blown PC, which is why it's only got a 10 gig hard drive in. Um, so I want to go to our drive options. This is going to give me the options now to format the drive. Um, so we make sure, and this is this is very important. Make sure that if you have got multiple drives in here, that you are going to format the correct drive. It's just going to tell us it might you know partition might contain recovery files. Um, click OK, I'm OK with that. So it's now going to format the drive. OK, so now that's formatted, click on Next, and this will begin the install. It's going to copy the files, and it's going to go through the install. And this is where I'm going to cut the video, otherwise we will be here for the next hour. OK, Windows will restart and when it does, once it's uh, expanded all the files um, before it goes into the install, um, when you get the screen coming up saying you want to boot from CD or DVD, don't press any key, let it boot through um, and it'll continue with the setup. Okay, again you'll see that the uh, the computer is going to reboot again and at this point again don't press any key, let it boot through. If you press any key you're just going to go into a loop and you'll go back and start again basically. So we'll let Windows restart. Okay, once we get through the uh, the main bulk of the install uh, we're going to be asked for a few details. So we're going to add as name here. Once you've added your name, click next. Type a password if you want. Um, you can always set that up again later. I'm going to skip this bit for now. Again, product key. I'm going to skip this um, due to the fact that I don't really want to be putting my product key in on the video. And you get 30 days to activate Windows anyway, so you can do that from from within Windows or at that point. I recommend you to do it at that point, and then it's done. And the first time you go on the internet. It'll then register your windows. So we're going to use recommended settings, and this is where we set as time zone. And here I'm actually set at the right time. And then we're going to 
select home network here so it's due to the fact that we are on a home network. I'm just going to skip this. This is all the uh, the network and sharing setup, and this is I always find it easier to do this from actually inside Windows. So we'll skip that bit. We're all interested in the install at the moment. Okay, Windows is just going to finish up here. It's just going to get the system ready for use. Okay, there we have it. Windows uh, will now update, and we'll just take a look at that. Automatic updates is turned on by default, and I recommend that you um, that you leave that there. It needs it needs to update. It's one of the other things, um, just to make sure that your screen is at the right resolution. Sometimes it doesn't auto detect it, and to do that, we just right click on the desktop, and then go to screen resolution. And we've got resolution settings here. We drop that down. You can pick your resolution. A lot of the times Windows will detect this. Again, this is a, a virtual machine, um, so I've just had to change this. And uh, you just select your screen, click apply, and click OK. It'll give you a, it'll give you the option to to keep your settings or to revert to the new ones. Um, so click OK and come out of that. And uh, and that's it. That's uh, basically how you install Windows 7. Depending on how you're doing it, if you're up, you can, you know, th that was a clean install. There's also, you can do uh, light repair installs um, where it'll keep all your data and it'll put that in a separate file. But again, I may cover that in another video later on. This is this is just a how to do a clean install, format your hard drive and install Windows. Like I say, most important thing, make sure your data's backed up before you do anything if you've got any important uh, files or folders on your computer that you'd like to keep and uh, and that's it how to install Windows 7 thanks for viewing